When doing anything with big data, one of the first choices you have to make is how you're going to store your data. And as a general rule of thumb, anything that's great for humans is terrible for machines. Text files, terrible. XML, awful. CSVs, don't even get me started. So what is it that machines need to process data faster? It comes down to supplementary data stored with it, the column names, the column types, the number of records, the mins, the maxes. Storing this means that we can read faster from it because we can either use the pre-calculated fields or we can skip files entirely. And Delta takes this to a whole new level. Delta is an open source storage framework. It's technically not a file type, but if you refer to it as one, I'd forgive you. I have a Delta table here, and if I look at the files underneath, I can see the majority is in multiple Parquet files, which are also open source and great for big data. But I also have this JSON file type here, and this is where the magic starts to happen. It contains references to every version of the table, who made the change, how, what they did, and how many files were affected. We can go even deeper into each version, the exact file that was added or removed, the partition strategies, the schema for the table for that version and which version of it uses. Now why do we want all this information? It allows us to do some really cool things. Now when we read from a delta table we're only going to read from the latest complete version. This means no more reading from a half updated version as a job is still running. We also have the schema of the data and we're going to compare any incoming data to make sure that it's the same and we're not going to introduce any bad data we need to fix later. These stats also mean I can skip over any files that are not needed to make my queries so much faster. If I want to change some data, it's not going to rewrite out the whole table, it's just going to change the parquet files that are relevant. If I want to delete a chunk of data, I could just not read from those files anymore. And because all of this is versioned, I can time travel back to an older version of this table. If you want to try this out yourself, in Databricks all tables are Delta by default, but if you wanted to use the open source version interactively, you can download Spark and then add the Delta package with some additional configs. Now this is just an intro to Delta, there are so many other performance features, so follow to learn more.